Hi, it's Wing, and this is going to be a realistic snapshot of what I eat in a week as a vegetarian. Let's go! I'm starting off day one with some breakfast with my lovely quack quack duck. I've got some Hong Kong style milk tea, which is one of my favorite things to start the morning with. I had some buttered toast and some macaroni and tomato soup with some vegetables. I appreciate any restaurant that offers a veggie breakfast set because they're so hard to find here. And of course Quack Quack had some breakfast too. Here's a quick lunch I made. Some cucumber sushi, kale, cherry tomatoes. Pesto and garlic. Nice. For day two, I'm grabbing some breakfast at McDonald's. Again, I'm having some milk tea and a hash brown. And again, I'm having macaroni and some corn soup. McDonald's doesn't usually offer vegetarian breakfast on their menu, but my particular McDonald's is willing to take away the meat and egg, so this is a great way to try and vegify some of your favorite menu options. I got hungry so I took a snack break and had one of my favorite snacks at the moment, which are these Jagabi fries that come in small packages and have seaweed flavoring that I love. Later on in the day, I had some lunch with my friend Gwen. We went to a nice outdoor cafe for some coffee, which I really needed. And for the actual carbohydrates, I had a gnocchi pasta in some cream and mushroom sauce that was really delicious but had a bit too much cream for my liking, as I prefer a tomato sauce usually. And of course, you cannot forget the lovely Americano. Though I have been trying to cut down my coffee intake because in the long run, it really isn't that good for you. After that, we had a snack break at the cinema and grabbed some popcorn. On day three, I woke up a bit late, so I grabbed some brunch at a Japanese restaurant. I had some udon with some assorted vegetables and corn and mushroom and seaweed. Their lunch set also came with some oolong tea, which is a really good combo for some udon. I still wasn't full after that, so I grabbed some dessert. I found these small rice cakes at 7-Eleven and really liked them. I didn't feel like preparing food on day 4, so my breakfast was a lot and a lot of hot water. Which is really good for cleansing your digestive system in the morning before actually digesting any legit food. I did get some actual food later on in the day for afternoon tea. I went to 7-Eleven for their afternoon tea set which has fried noodles with a side of milk tea. That wasn't exactly a healthy meal, so I took a snack break and ate a whole avocado and felt much better after that. Please also appreciate my avocado cutting skills. I usually never cut an avocado this cleanly. I was feeling super hungry by nighttime, so I went all out for dinner and had a whole one person hot pot in tomato broth with tofu and vegetables, rice, and some lemon tea. The day after I had dinner with my family, we had a lot of Chinese vegetable dishes, tofu, mushrooms, and rice. I somehow still had room for dessert after that, so I grabbed one of my favorite desserts, which are these vanilla mochi ice creams. They're so good! The next day I was feeling really groggy and really needed some caffeine, so for breakfast I am having a drip on coffee. These come in individual packets that have coffee grounds inside the filter already. You just put it over your cup, pour some hot water in, and you have some amazing coffee. A while later, it was sunny outside, so I grabbed some lunch with my mom. We ate at a salad bar that had a selection of pasta salads, leafy salads, and other vegetables that were really delicious. 
On the last day, we had dinner after walking around a lot. We had some kanji and some pineapple buns that had pickles inside. That was everything I ate this week. I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you for my next one. Bye!